afternoon and welcome to the first principles message of 2017. I hope you've all had a fabulous holiday and it's been great to welcome all of our students back. And today I'm joined by some really special guests, some of our New Year 7 students, and uh, I thought it'd be really interesting to hear from them about what it's been like to start high school. So welcome to Indy and Jen, Maddie, Harry and Sophie. Welcome everyone. Um, what, Jen, maybe if we start with you, What's been the most exciting thing about starting Year 7? Oh, learning about all the opportunities that we'll have in the future and going to camp. Going so because camp's pretty soon, isn't it? Yeah. And Jen, you came from our primary school here. There were obviously another group of Year 6s that came up with you. They've all been spread through the four classes, haven't they? Yeah, which is good because we made new friends. So you made new friends and met new people. Indy, which primary school did you come from? Um, I came from uh, Heps, uh, Heath Mining's Primary School. And were there any other any other boys and girls that came to Billmore here from Heathwood? I was the only one. So, so you you were the Lone Ranger. Yeah. Was that a bit scary being being the only person that came from? Yeah, I'm like, uh, okay, this nobody else coming here. <laughs> if you remember when we did the transition days last year. Was that helpful to sort of come to school late in year six and meet some new people? That was a lot easier. Like, yeah. I came here on um, first day on Wednesday last week, and I'm like, oh, okay, this isn't so bad. Yeah, okay. <laughs> As I thought it would be before I went to the orientation yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's good. Sophie, um, you've, got a, you've got a little bit of an entree to Bill and Cabernet because your big brother's here. Yeah. <laughs> um, I imagine you've probably been to things at Bill and with Jack uh, beforehand. Yeah. Was that helpful to sort of know a little bit about where things were at school? Uh, yeah, definitely. And you came from Benverdeen, didn't you? Yeah. With some, there were some, did, were there some friends that came with you from Benverdeen? Yeah. So, what, other girls and boys or? Um, just girls. Just girls. Other girls. And, and what for you has been the most exciting thing about starting Year 7? Um, making new friends and starting new. Harry, you came from Mombok. Yes. Um, I think there was one other person that came from yes, Mombok, Yes, one it? girl. One girl. And what about for you? What's been really different and exciting for you coming into high school here? Just like what most people said, making new friends and like kind of starting new. Yeah, kind of? going to new places yes. and starting new things. Yes. Maddie, you were at the other Bill Mock, weren't you? Bill yes. Primary. And there were some other students that came with you. What's it been like starting for you? Has What's been the exciting things for you? Well, I was really excited to try all the different sports, like the volleyball. Yeah, because yeah. um, you play basketball, don't you? So, yeah. yeah. So, do you think you might play volleyball for the school? Uh, I want to try. Yeah, Mr Miller's probably had you out in the courts, hasn't he? Yes. <laughs> and um, if you think back to um, the night before the very first day this year, you know, tomorrow you're going to school for the first time, start of 2017. What was that like the night before the first day? Um, well, for me, I was really excited. Um, I wanted to snag the best locker. The best locker. Lockers are the key, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. And like meet my new teachers and make some new friends. Andy, what about what was the you know were you a little bit apprehensive the night before or? I'm like, oh, I do like holidays. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, I and all your friends were still on holidays, weren't they? Because we came back a bit earlier. Yeah. So you were, you were excited, not apprehensive? I was like, uh, this, like, the obviously the orientation day helped, but I'm like, uh, what's it going to be like? Because it, it's the reality of starting, yeah. isn't it, that sometimes, no matter how much orientation you do, there's that first day where everyone's new, but you're a little bit yeah. unsure. So what was, it, what was it like for you sort of getting ready to start next day? Um, well, it was pretty exciting. I got all my uniforms out ready, hoping to make yeah. a good first impression. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I was um, just preparing the night before for the big day. Yeah. Maddie, did, did your family talk to you about, you know, getting ready to start school? Did they have any advice for you? They said for me to stay confident and never hold back. So, what, what does that mean? What do you think they meant by not holding back? Don't put yourself out there, don't go and talk to other people. Yeah, and, and I think that's really important about starting Year 7, isn't it? Is um, being open to new things and meeting new people. And, um, and sometimes that's a bit scary too, isn't it? Meeting <laughs> new people and doing different things. Harry, you, you were telling me um, that the night before you were, you were pretty okay, but yeah. 
I was okay, but my mum wasn't as much because she needed to get our books and our books haven't arrived yet. So mum was, a, mum was a little bit more apprehensive yeah. than you were. Yeah, and so I how we were getting to school and getting back. Yeah, and I, re I reckon the hardest thing about starting year seven, and I'd be interested to know what you think, I reckon the hardest thing is the combination lock. Isn't it? Yeah. Is anyone, has everyone mastered the combination lock yet? Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. I have mine for two years. Yeah, so you got yeah. Who had trouble with the combination lock? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, I reckon that's the hardest thing about starting year seven, is trying to work out how the combination lock looks. It's actually really satisfying just like yeah. doing it and then pulling it down. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yes. First and, time. And um, Jen, you were saying you were looking forward to camp. Yeah. Um, Tell us a little bit about what you've been told about what happens on camp. Well, Where do you go? Um, we go to Point Leo and we do a lot of surfing and tenting and cycling and hiking. Because year seven camp, you're actually in tents, aren't you? Yeah. Have, have you guys, you would have gone camping in primary school, wouldn't you? Did you, did you do camping in tents? And no. So that, that's a bit new, isn't it? Are you guys looking forward to, to camp as well? Yeah, we're really looking forward yeah. to camp. Because yeah. it's lovely down on the beach and all those things that, you know, cycling and surfing and all those sort of things are really, are really, really good fun, aren't they? Um, if you were going to give people some advice about starting at high school, what advice would you give to, to other people who in the future might be starting high school like you've had? What advice would you give? So what, what would you say to people maybe in year six going to high school next year? Um, introduce yourself to as many people as possible. Make as many friends as you want to. Don't be worried about like what people are going to think because they're nervous too. Yeah, yeah. Harry, what, what, would, what advice would you give? Just try and be organised. Like you don't want to be waking up the next morning early then be like when you have to go and then you, you're like, where's my school uniform? So. Who, whose families make them put their school uniform out? The night before, yeah. and yeah. lunch and the whole thing. I tried that. I don't think it worked in my um, So be organised, Maddie. Yes. What, what advice would you give? I'd say take every opportunity you can. Yeah. Try everything. You, if you don't like it, you don't have to do it. And I, I think that's that's one of the things about high school, isn't it? Is that there's so many new opportunities, new subjects, things that you've never done before. Um, that getting in and having it go is really important, isn't it? You're going to try volleyball, won't you? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Jen, what advice would you give? I have the same advice as Maddie. There are so many opportunities in Dylan. I'll just try to grasp every one possible way you can. Penny, what would you say? I have a few advice, but I'd be, on the first day, nervous people from year six going into year seven. Be yourself. That's the most yeah. important yeah. thing. Yeah. Be yourself. Like, if you go there, like, act like a class clown, um, then people will think of you for that as the rest of the year. Even if you don't act like one, they're still like, oh, he's still got that class clown in there. But if you be yourself, like, you can be a little bit funny. You, can, you need to be balanced. Um, so people are like, oh, okay, that's a nice um, level guy or yeah. girl. No, I think that's, that's really great advice. Um, you know, just being yourself is so important, isn't it? Yeah. Um, what do you think will be challenging about being in Year 7? What are the things that you think might be hard, difficult? What are the things that maybe you, you know, you're not sort of looking forward to? Everyone can say homework now, don't they? Is homework something that, that you think about and you worry about? Well, actually, with the app, it makes it so much more simpler because you know what when sort of homework you've got to yeah. do. Yeah. When your home is due, so that keeps it organised. Yeah. So if you you were saying homework was homework seems to be a really common thing, doesn't it? After we get the um, the combination panel under control. <laughs> yeah. Um, homework seems to be a common uh, thing that people worry about. What do you think about homework? Um, well, I don't mind it because um, something really important is prioritising, like yeah. working out mm -hmm. what you need to do the most and then doing what you want to later. Yeah, I think that's really good. Maddie, is, something, is homework something that, that you sort of think about and go, oh, you know, I've got all this homework to do? And... Uh, sometimes, when, sometimes in primary school, I left it till the very last night and yeah. I had to do it all yeah. that night. Yeah. And I think that that's something you learn as you go through school, isn't it? Is, you know, if you leave things right to the last minute, that's when you, you get stressed a bit. So 
Yeah, you know, it's sort of chipping away at things, isn't it? Mm. Being well organised. Jen, homework seems to be a common thing, but are yeah. there other things that you you sort of think might be challenging in Year Seven? Um, well, in primary school, you kind of had adults organising your life and telling you where to be and packing your lunch yeah, and everything. Yeah. When you go to Year Seven, <coughs> you have to realise that you are taking care of yourself, yeah. and not everyone's going to tell you to do this and show you where to go. Kind yeah, of so it's about being more independent. And yeah. Yeah, and, and I think that's what happens as you go through high school, isn't it? Is that um, through primary, often your families do, you know, they do a lot of things for you, and as you get a little bit older, you you have to become more independent and cut, you know, make your own lunch and be where you've got to be when you've got to be. India, what do you think the challenges may be for you going through this? Um, well, challenges getting homework done especially. Um, something that I'm definitely not looking forward to is getting on the wrong bus again because I took the wrong bus on Friday. And Are I you on the up... top buses with me or on the bottom buses with um, Mr George? I'm on the top buses up there. Oh, yep. okay. So um, I ended up in Emerald. <laughs> Do you know, that's one, the, the good thing in here is once you get the bus the first time and you get the right bus, don't you? Yeah. You sort of tend to know which one is. So my sister's like, oh yeah, that's okay. Don't get off the bus, just go on. The bus driver said he could take you home. So yeah, that's all right. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> I remember catching the bus for my first time. Scary. Yeah, I was When you get off on the right, when you get off on the right spot. I was just tagging along with my older brothers. Yeah, yeah. So there's a, a lot to look forward to with Year Seven, isn't there? Yes. And um, and it's really. Fabulous to have you here. Um, I, I hope you've had a really nice start. It's been a great start for you, so yes. hasn't it? So why don't we finish with favourite subjects? So Science, probably. Science. Science. Indian. Science as well. Boy. Jen. Sport. 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 Maddie. Sport. Sport as well. Math Harry. Mathematics. Maths. Yes. That's what I like to hear. That's great, isn't it? Yes. So I hope you've enjoyed having a little bit of a uh, chat with some of our year sevens. Um, it's really great to have them here and um, I hope they have a wonderful journey through high school. Um, but I think as Maddie said, the key is get, in, get involved in as many things as you can and uh, that's the way you get the most out of being in school. So thanks very much. Well Thank done. You. And um, we'll look forward to my next message. Thanks very much.